See? I don't always look like a mess. I'm all ready to go for my outing with Connie today. Still have no idea where we're going. Kind of excited though. Look at this, I even blow dried my hair. <laughs> I spent most of the morning trying to figure out how to upload yesterday's video from Rush, Adobe Rush. I'm using another editing program. It's, can't upload it directly from the app to YouTube. So anyway, giant pain. But uh, Renee and I got up early, made some bacon and eggs, sat around, had some coffee and ate and just chatted a little bit. And uh, she's off for the day. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm excited. Stay tuned for the surprise. I am currently doing some poncho surgery. So I'm ripping out the bottom. There used to be this fuzzy kind of border that was a little old school, very 90s. So I'm ripping this out just to make it a little bit shorter and then I will just sew an edge or knit an edge onto it and hopefully it'll be ready to wear. The girls and I had a great time sitting out in the gazebo last night. It was a little chilly but it was lovely. Everybody had a blanket, a shawl and a hood or a toque. You know the girls come over and they raid my woolly stuff. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we sat out there with the twinkle lights and it was so nice. Just girly stuff, chatting about everything under the sun. And uh, we went to bed a little bit late. Totally worth it. Connie just texted, she's five minutes away. So I'm gonna go put some pants on. Raise your hand if you hate putting on clean jeans. Cause they tight. Now they're good. Check this out, we both washed our hair today. <laughs> so this is the surprise. We're gonna be doing some glass blowing. Check out this building. It's gorgeous. We did it again, we're dressed the same. Both wearing jeans and Converse. <laughs> we had the same jogging pants last night. It was hilarious. Twinning. Twinning. This thing's a little bit scary. <laughs> Let's oh, yeah. open this puppy up. Let's show us show us the heat.
these bubbles in there? after 7 p.m. I think Connie and I are both tuckered out. We ended up in Ottawa. 
and had some red lobster for lunch, which was awesome. I uh, had never been to Red Lobster until I think last year for my mom's birthday. That's where she wanted to go. And it was my first time. And then I was like, mm, this place is good. So that's where we went for lunch. And then we went out to the outlets in Nepean, Canada, Canada, I think. I hate shopping, but it wasn't too bad. And I ended up finally cracking and buying some Bluntstones. I've been wanting some for years. So I... Uh, I bit it and I bought some. So I'm pretty excited about that. They're too cute. I think Connie says because I have little feet they look cute, but I don't know. I think they're just nice boots. And they're pretty comfy. I uh, totally had to try them on with plastic bags on my feet because they had no more socks. And I was wearing my Birkenstocks, so I didn't have socks on. Um, so, super fun. I pooped. I got a lovely bouquet of flowers from my friend Eric who owns Mood Moss Flowers in Ottawa. So if you're in the Ottawa area and you like flowers, check out his shop. Um, I think he's also Mood Moss on Instagram. He posts pretty regularly and the arrangements are so gorgeous. And now I'm just gonna chill out. Maybe go hang out in the gazebo. It's gonna be fun. I was looking for a heater tonight. Um, we went to Cabela's, which is like a big outdoor store, I guess. I don't know. I think it was my first or second time at one of those places. It's pretty cool. There's lots of stuff. Uh, I was looking for a heater for the gazebo, but they had one. It was $200. I'm like, mm, I'm not paying that when I can get it on Amazon for like 70 or 80 So anyway, I'm going to put my video together, try and get it published, and then 